Cricket presents the campfire, and today we are heading to District 76A. The teams in this district include Jesuit, Irving, MacArthur, Nimitz, Richardson, Berkner, Lake Highlands, and Pierce. Let's analyze this district in our film session. 76A is exactly the same as the past realignment except for one glaring departure. Two-time district champ Highland Park has moved on, which opens up a playoff spot. Lake Highlands was a co-district champ a year ago, but was hit hard by graduation. They will look to Harrison Day to make a successful transformation from wide receiver to quarterback in order to give the Wildcats an opportunity to repeat. Meanwhile, Jesuit is the opposite of Lake Highlands as they bring back a ton from an 8-4 team in 2023. They have plenty of offensive talent with quarterback Charlie Peters, receiver Jaeger Krause, and running back Henry Barrett all in the fold. Bertner will be loaded with athletes like Kobe Foreman and Cornell McGee, but the Rams have to shake off the injury bug that bit them last season. Pierce just missed the postseason last fall, but they are experienced and their spread offense should put up points behind quarterback Presley Harper. Richardson High will also fight for a playoff position as they have a solid receiving core led by Hudson Harder and Evan Tabora. As for the Irving ISD squads, McCarver may have the best opportunity to play an 11th game. The Cardinals only won two games last season, but hope the coach's son, Banner Nicholas, can help produce more from the wide receiver position. Nimitz and Irving High will try to improve on a combined one win from last fall. Freeflation leaves economists baffled. Getting more for less? It's true for those who switch to Cricket and get a free Samsung Galaxy A14 5G. Smile, you're on Cricket. Give your taste buds that winning feeling with the new boneless Whata Wings from Whataburger. Crispy, tender bites of chicken tossed in your choice of sauce. The Campfire is brought to you by your Texas Kubota dealers, home of the number one selling subcompact tractor in Texas. Kubota, together we do more. For an even deeper look at 76A, here's producer Ward Fasol and insider Matt Diggs with the District Breakdown. All right, Diggs, he joins us again for another District Breakdown. We are talking 76A. Uh, they call this, for the rest of the teams that remain in this addition by subtraction, because they subtracted Highland Park, which opens up a, not only a district championship, a district title, although they shared it last year, but it opens up a playoff spot. And the rest of the teams remain the same. So we got the Richardson ISD, the Irving ISD, and Dallas Jesuit. Who now is the front runner? Because Lake Highlands, they got hit with some graduation. So I don't even know if they're the front runner. Who do you got as the front runner here? Case of the graduations war. There, there's nothing like it. Every year we, we lose players, but I think Lake Highlands got hit hard. Uh, we got a case of the, the Highland Parks being uh, extracted to 5A. Uh, so this is wide open. I think more than ever, I can look at this district and I can see five teams, if things go right, could legitimately win a district title. Because last year, you know, things go right, things go wrong. And and when I look at a healthy team, I look at Richardson Berkner. Richardson Berkner showed last year when they were fully healthy against Lake Highlands, they beat them by three touchdowns. And then Lake Highlands beat Highland Park, Highland Park beat Berkner, and they, the Jesuits what's involved in all of this and it was just complete chaos but i think if healthy uh Bergner is the team to beat excellent all right remind the people one through eight for me I've got our friends at Richardson Berkner, number one. I've got uh, Jesuit, number two. I've got Lake Highlands, number three. Richardson Pierce, four. Just on the outside looking in, Richardson at number five. And again, folks, these are very close, uh, especially three to five. I think you could flop three to five. There's, you know, talk about tiers. One and two are in a tier. Three, four, and five are in a different tier. I think you can see movement among those three teams. Uh, number six, I've got Irving MacArthur. Uh, number seven, Irving Nimitz. And number eight, the Irving Tigers. All right, Dixie. Well, next week we'll talk uh, their playoff counterpart in 86A and see what's going on with their Arlington schools. Thanks for joining us, big guy. Can't wait. And then we're going to have to also talk about why Halton is in that group. Yeah, exactly. Deep, deep thoughts next week. <laughs> All right, buddy. We'll see you next week. We'll post the entire breakdown segment this Wednesday on our social media pages. Now let's take a look at some game changers and our players on the rise brought to you by Parker University. The top quarterback in this district could be Charlie Peters of Jesuit. He certainly put up the numbers to argue that case in 2023. Charlie threw for just under 3,000 yards and 32 touchdowns as a junior. Peters also completed 66% of his passes and was named first team all district. Charlie is a smart guy too, as he has offers from Columbia and Dartmouth among others. 
Another dangerous gunslinger in 7-6A is Presley Harper of Richardson Pierce. Harper took full advantage of the Mustangs' spread offense as he threw for 2,874 yards and 22 touchdowns as Pierce just missed the postseason. The Pierce offensive line will be inexperienced this year, so Harper will have to be quick in his decision-making this fall. If he is, the Mustangs could find themselves back in the playoffs. Burtner's Kobe Foreman is one of the standout athletes in this district. Foreman took snaps in all three phases of the game a year ago, but primarily was used as a cornerback. Kobe is one of the fastest DBs in the area as he clocked a 10.6 in the 100-meter dash. He used that speed to make 32 tackles and break up six passes as a junior. Foreman recently committed to Oklahoma State. The Lake Highlands defensive backfield is led by safety Aiden Webb. He was a ball hawk as a junior and was a turnover machine as he picked off six passes for the Wildcats. Webb is 6'3", so he can use his height to get balls others can't. Aiden will try to lead Lake Highlands to back-to-back -back district titles before heading to Oklahoma State for his college ball. Players on the Rise is brought to you by Parker University. Check out our bachelor's degree in strength and human performance today. People who come to Cricket stay with Cricket. I volunteer at a bunny rescue, and with Cricket, my bill is consistent, and I have unlimited data, so I can do what I love. Unlimited data for unlimited cuteness. Smile, you're on Cricket. The Campfire is brought to you by Golden Chick. One taste and you're golden. Our Wharf Assault caught up to Berkner head coach Trey Bryant to talk about the district and his Rams in our Media Day segment. All right, it's Media Day. We are talking 7-6-A with Richardson Berkner head coach Trey Bryant. Coach, uh, before we go into this year's district, man, I don't, I hate bringing up bad memories, but boy, oh boy, your training staff was uh, put into work overtime last year because you guys got off to such a good start and then the injury bug hit you. How excited are you maybe to come into this season with a, with a healthy squad? Man, it feels good. You know, like you said, we came in last year, uh, started the first two games without our quarterback with a uh, torn ligament in his finger. Uh, and he started out 0-2, and, and then he's able to return and go 4-0 and in district. And then, you know, going into the Highland Park game, which we felt like was a district championship game, uh, tears his ACL before halftime. And so... You come in with a backup quarterback who did did well for stepping into that position, and then we end up changing it to another quarterback, Daquan Dunn, for the last three games to finish it out. And you know we, we still made it to the playoffs, but you know our goal is we got to go win one now. So that's always the goal for us. So you know it, it's crazy how when we started this journey, it was getting to the playoffs, and you're going into year four and now. We're talking about a district championship, so it's been a great journey though. Well, you sound excited. That just so that's only going to get us excited. So we're excited to see what's going on. Good luck when it comes. Uh, well, we're only about a month away now. So good luck, coach. Away. Thanks for joining us. No, I appreciate you having me. Always respect to you all and everything that you all do. I right, appreciate it. You can catch the entire interview Friday on our social media channels. That's going to do it for this week's campfire. Next week, we take a look at eight six A. Until then, have a great week, everybody.